States trade. What got us involved is today's trade agreements, the brand free trade agreement, actually has been hijacked in a way. And now our trade agreements have all these provisions since NAFTA. Specific incentives to offshore jobs. They're literally rules that make it safer, easier for big companies to send their jobs overseas. Rules that, for instance, forbid us from using Buy America preferences. So we offshore our trade, our, our tax dollars instead of having them invested in communities to create jobs here. Rules that limit the safety of imported food and products. Rules that deregulate banks and Wall Street. So all of this stuff we started paying attention and we've been looking at the data and it's really compelling. Under the model of trade agreements we have actually with those countries, our export growth goes down, our trade deficits go up. We have lost since the era of NAFTA and the World Trade Organization, one out of four of every U.S. manufacturing job. That's almost six million jobs, but also millions of high wage service sector jobs have been offshored under these rules and we've been flooded with unsafe imported food. We even now import more beef than we export. Can you imagine the United States? Well, the International Business Times, I mean, there, there are those that cite the benefit of our current trade situation. Um, a 2015 study out of US, US, UCLA and Columbia University showed that the lowest 10% of wage earners saw a 63% boost in buying power from trade compared with just 28% lift for the richest 10 percent. So that study actually is an anomaly because the data, so the theory of trade is the winners are on the import side. So if you lose your job, if a particular viewer has lost your job to trade, you know it's a catastrophe. But the theory is on the imports, because we all get cheaper goods, even though someone's losing their job not making that stuff here anymore, that the net is good for the whole country. The problem is, as offshoring has gone up the income ladder, that mathematically is no longer true. So that study is an anomaly compared to other studies that have put the actual trade data into the theory behind free trade, which is, you know, we should all be winners because we get cheaper stuff. For instance, I think it was two years ago, the Center for, um, no, the Economic Policy, the Center for International, uh, no, the Center, sorry, the Center <laughs> for Economic Policy and Research, two different groups, did a study where they plugged the data in, and what they found was that even though we get cheaper stuff, the wages we're losing by offshore scale nets out such that at the median income, Americans are losing $3,000 per year, cheaper stuff, but bigger loss in wages. So the net out is not actually positive.